inside of that program is one example of stopping the silence. The prayer in the Bible is an example of stopping the silence. And the Lord is not for other than that. I'm not sure I don't know God. But I think of what happened. In his prayer, he's not for other than that. Prevent you from wrongdoing and evil. How? He depends on the law. In fact, when you build the structure, the natural force, the natural force of gravity is to bring the building down. God says, if you want to live comfortably, build enough strength to give you comfort. For if you are going to live weak, it will take you over. A house, look at this thing. There's not such a thing. If you want to live in this city, this element, you know, it's the concrete jungle, isn't it? Yeah, I need to treat you. It's the concrete jungle. It's not a house, it's mostly concrete. You know, we all like things in this place, and we love this. And there was no way here, this would become a jungle. The concrete would crack, and the trees would come out, and they'd devour this entire structure. You would not even see this building. You would think it's the Amazon jungle. What is all that mean? Is that if you don't crack the new world to protect yourself, the forces would take your That's the design. Is it a negative design? No. The entire world is, it goes down, it just Force them to be daily wake up and go to work. Daily shower myself. Daily clean myself. Daily clean my house. Daily polish myself. That miraculous would never happen if things are naturally very things will do. In order to walk on out of the system, it's magnificently designed that you and I need to participate in our free will to stop wrongdoing. So when we have to worship why are people doing evil? It's because they are using the free will. Now it's the those of those who are good. Stand up and say we're going to work again. And we're going to bring them on our side. But when they're on the other side of that fence, they probably don't want to be on the other side. But because so many wrong things took them there, they're in a ditch. They want to get out. And you and I need to get them out. This is what religion is all about. Belief in God is precise for this. Worshiping God is precise for this. It is to make us the highest level of existence. Otherwise, religion does not make sense. Allahumma salli Allah Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad wa Ali
Why? Because I am the product of those that taught me. And the best thing among teachers is the Prophet of Allah. Why are you telling me the Prophet of Allah? Allahumma salli Allah. Muhammad Wali Muhammad. So God has done that for me. And the best scripture is why I can mind to the best pathway of Allah in the house of the Quran is that he is a Lord. Indeed, the Quran guides to that to move upright. Therefore, it's nowhere in the day that our obligation is to be very responsible. But many times there is people in our society who will be sending wrong messages and children learn from those wrong messages and it becomes part of their fabric with their needs. I think of this every single day. Every day I wake up, I'm afraid of that. The less I can say or do something that is incorrect, the less a child or even an adult should send that from me and potentially take it in the wrong direction. Of course, we can't control our fear ultimately, but at least we must make the effort to be good. Because you can stand that. When a human being takes a conservative effort to be good, even if they're not necessarily good, we admire them. Rather than the ones that I don't need to be good, I don't want to be good. That's a dangerous person. Because now that that's an evil person. But when an individual wants to be good and we're struggling, then we learn from them. Children in our Islamic school who learn that that are the ones whose parents can enjoy the school. And then the child sees it. My own father would have thought I was a big Quran. He's now learning the alphabet of the Quran. I am not the Quran. He finds a child, takes somebody else to the What's the difference? The child is learning from the father. The child is learning from the parents. The child is learning from the society. It's the society that conducive. Often it can be approached, and the society sees the cup as half full of it, struggling to fill the rest. Then it's a natural consequence that the next result of our children will all be positive. When a mother is only a baby in this woman, she'll be positive. But it's also to be prepared. Not just wake up one morning and tell me how many parents. I get so many emails about engagements and, and marriage taking place within our community. And you should see the talk sometimes. You know, the engagement is about to break. Well, this brother is like this, this is what I hear. They were going to get married, and then there was a monkey in the bench. You know, he's a term monkey in the bench. And he got complicated. Now the girl is all frantic, she sent me the name of the mother. I don't know what to do, help me. Well, the brother sent me here. I want to kill myself because the girl won't like me. Well, there's another boy, she's going to marry. I can't live with my brother, but she married another girl. It's complications. We are still in trouble. Our lives are just so dramatic. We have to depend on this child. 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 You say, I say, you say, this is a tiny life, you say, I say, you 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 why not take a little time to calculate what is my responsibility? If I want to marry, what is my responsibility? What do I need to know for? A lot of my young brothers and sisters, when they send me this email, I don't blame them for it. They are victims of society that never go into being discussed without anything. Everything is surface. You go out to the village, you find the email, you get a message, you get a message, you get a message, you get a story. It's all in the body.